Commencing adding assistance suit initialization. Life support systems activated. Shield kinetic system online. Scanner damaged. Repair required. Propulsion jetpack online. Multi tool inlining laser attachment operational. User initialization sequence. Hey, how's it going guys and welcome to a new series of No Man's Sky Beyond. I'm really thrilled to be making these videos for you guys. I uh, really do want to start making more of an effort um, on this channel for you guys to enjoy. So if you like this video, please be sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as I'm planning to flood this channel with loads and loads of uh, videos for you guys to enjoy basically. Right, so that's done. As you can see here, uh, I'm gathering carbon because uh, I need to make sure that my mining tool is kept refueled um, or refilled, whatever you want to call it, uh, to provide more ammo to mine more stuff. So, uh, if you're not familiar with No Man's Sky, carbon is really good for your mining tool as well as other things as well. But in terms of helping aiding you in survival, uh, carbon is good for refilling up your mining tool. Uh, it's best to have too much than too little of that, I'd say. Uh, carbon also is good for refilling your ship's um, fuel system. Um, also, if you get oxygen plants, uh, that's good for refilling your life support. And sodium is good for refilling your hazard protection, which I need to do soon, as you can see down the bottom there, because it's going quite low. Uh, so we're going to gather some of that stuff soon in a second. Um, ferrite dust as well is good for um, other elements for example making different elements so if you gather ferrite dust like I'm doing here as you can see uh, that can be used for making metal plating which is good for certain things for example I think I need to put it in the starship as one of the elements to help repair the starship which we're also going to be doing shortly and um, oh my god that is a weird look, look at that I've never seen that before in this game. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, gathering ferrite dust uh, is good for use, being used to make elements, say for example metal plating, which we need to do uh, soon I believe. If I remember rightly, uh, that is used as one of the elements to, to repair your ship, which we're going to be doing shortly. Um, just gathering some more carbon here, because as I say it's best to have too much and too little. Um, also sodium which I need to gather soon as well um, which you can see over there uh, I need to actually get some sodium as, like, as soon as possible really because uh, my hazard protection has gone low um, so we're going to gather some sodium these things you need to be careful with these things they will get you if you're not careful but they're very good as you can see for oxygen so oxygen is good for refilling your life support uh, here's some sodium here, we get we get these. And then just refill up our hazard protection. Which is done by that. As you can see at the top left corner, it's also filling up um, our shield as well. 
that's also one thing it's good for it's not only good for your hazard protection but it refills your shield as well your shield protection so I'm going to get some more sodium because this is also another thing that's better to have too much than too little of um, the one thing I like about the new update in this game I must say as well is the variety that Hello Games have added to the game now like there's from what I've seen since they launched the, the update there's so many different varieties of animals like you've just seen a second ago that little uh, crab like creature with a rock for its head and stuff I've never before seen that until this update dropped it may have been an, uh, an older update but I've never come across that before um, also I love the uh, ability which we're going to be doing in the um, following videos uh, taming animals, milking animals because my main priority I want to try and achieve in the next coming videos is uh, to build up my units account because as you can see I've got zero here um, I want to build up the units to uh, work towards buying a better sh starship basically uh, which has potentially more cargo space so if I can get something that has more cargo space um, I can then effectively make more money because um, trading as well is something later on down the line uh, in these videos I'd like to do uh, also farming um, I'm thinking in a future video we can build up a base um, I'm not necessarily looking to build a fancy looking base just something that's shelter from harsh environments like this uh, to help shelter me also building a farm next to the base as well where I gather a load of plants I grow them make money from them go to the space station sell them all that sort of stuff also if you go to certain systems and uh, if you look carefully it says say for example minus a certain number for buying so you're buying cheaper and then selling for a higher number those particular systems are really good at helping you build up your units account uh, so just need to gather some more stuff here to help build the starship um, that's what we're going to try and focus on in today's video fixing the ship and then getting off the planet and then in the future videos um, or in the second video I'd like to focus on um, building up the units a bit more to work towards getting a better ship and possibly uh, even in the future a freighter uh, which is also useful for uh, having extra additional um, cargo space basically um, what I might do to start off with when it comes to getting the freighter because apparently from what I've been watching on other YouTubers videos um, when you complete a bit of the story missions at the beginning of the game you get offered a free freighter now I'm not too fussed about going for an S-Class freighter ship just yet I'm just going to literally grab anything they throw at us because uh, it's free um, and then I'm also going to see if you can upgrade the um, uh, what do you call them boxes uh, you know when you go to space stations you go to the exosuit part of the space station and you can buy an additional uh, cargo slot um, I don't know if uh, Hello Games have given you the ability now to do that for freighters so if that is the case then um, I might just stick with having the free freighter that I got in the beginning of the game and just upgrade the uh, cargo space if that is possible but if not then I will save up again uh, for a more decent freighter but for the time being I'm just going to stick with the free one so as you can see I fixed the uh, scanner finally uh, if you scan things around the uh, planet you're on like say for example these trees like I just done uh, that builds up your units a little bit you get like 500 units um, if there's like a rare animal um, in the particular planet you're on um, you will get a lot more units I think it's like 1000 and something units so if you find rare stuff you get more units uh, but just for scanning simple stuff like trees and rocks and stuff you get quite a decent amount of money or units um, in your units account uh, so if you scan like I say rocks I think it's like 500 uh, other things like animals um, certain animals could be 200 units so already that's like 700 units from scanning the rock and the animal uh, so it's just simple things like that to help you get started in this game um, which are really really uh, fundamental so let's just go into this quickly um,
I'm not going to bother reading this out too much, guys. I mean, you're welcome to read it yourselves if you want to. I just want to quickly get the message over and done with. Broadcast. Going to the starship. Yeah, as I say, I'm not going to really read these messages. I mean, you, you guys are welcome to sort of read along if you want. I just want to sort of quickly get the messages over with and then just sort of do the next step. Because no one really wants to see me read out messages, really, do they? So, um, let's try and get this over and done with. Uh, connect exosuit. Right, I think, if I remember rightly, this is going to give us a location to where we can find hermetic seal because uh, uh, it's been a while since I've played this game um, you need to go off somewhere to get this stuff um, and then um, come all the way back again which is a little bit annoying uh, but you do have to go on a fairly long journey um, to get the hermetic seal then come back to the ship and then repair the ship so let's have a look quickly I need pure fair right uh, pulse engine, hermetic seal, metal plating. I might be able to get metal plating now actually, I'll have a quick look in a sec. Uh, no. Doesn't look like I can. I need more ferrite dust. I've got 24 at the moment, so let's get some more ferrite dust uh, on the way to getting this hermetic seal. These things, like I say, be careful because if you go too close to them, they do that and they drain your life support down. Uh, oh, this! Oh my goodness! Oh, we're definitely going over there to get that. This is another thing as well. It's better to have too much than too little of this stuff because this is one of the main things which helps you uh, survive and live um, on harsh environments like this. So it's better to have too much than too little with this stuff. So I'm just going to grab all this sodium. I know it's a bit boring watching all this, but it won't take too long. We're nearly done there already. There we go. Done. Right. Uh, let's have a quick look. Get some more of that. So leave some comments as well below, guys, because I'll be interested to hear what your first planet was like when you first started playing this game. Whether it was a cold environment like this, or a hot environment, or you know a toxic environment, I'd really be interested to know um, what you guys think. Also, leave me some um, screenshots on my Twitter. Um, of the planets that you've discovered and the planet you're currently on because uh, obviously as you guys know every single planet in the game is different so for me it'll be interesting to see what you guys have discovered so leave some uh, screenshots on my Twitter which will be left in the description below also be sure to follow me on Twitter, uh, Twitter because um, I use that to announce when a new video goes live on my channel so definitely be sure to follow me on Twitter uh, there, there is Facebook in the description below as well, but I don't really use Facebook as much as Twitter. So if you need a quick response back from me, if you're going to send me a message on Twitter, uh, or leave me a tw tweet or whatever, um, then Twitter is the best thing for that, because like I said, I don't really use Facebook as much. Um, so definitely Twitter is a really good way uh, for me guaranteed for me to get back to you basically quickly uh, so definitely be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter 
uh, but mainly on Twitter, cause, like I said, I don't really use Facebook as much. So, we need to get Hermetic Seal. Let's have a quick look. I think it's going to give us the um, location of where it is now. Uh, it's a bit sort of t tedious, if I'm being honest with you, that you have to keep going in and out of the starship to activate new things. Um, it would be a lot more sort of uh, nicer in terms of the gameplay workflow for you to just do things in one go basically rather than going back and forth. But uh, I know it's the whole point of the game and everything, it's just like a, a personal thing with me. So let's have a quick look at this. Take planetary chart. This should hopefully give us the location of the Hermetic Seal. So let's have a look, got route. There we go, it's on the right there as you can see. So it's not too far away. Yeah, that's, it doesn't look too far away. The one thing I don't understand as well is in a minute, when you see me, uh, when I hover my thing over the um, icon there, it comes up with a number that goes down and then U next to it. Uh, I don't think that's unit. I haven't got a clue what that U next to the number means. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, if you guys know, I've always been curious to know what that is all about. Because it just seems a little bit strange to me. Uh, so yeah, just going to go over here. See if we can uh, get the hematic seal and get this oxygen plant as well. Um, I apologise as well, guys, if I don't talk very much in these videos. It's just sometimes I get so drawn into a good game like No Man's Sky. So apologies if I don't talk very much. Um, oh, great. That's all we need. Incoming blizzard detected. We've got no uh, terrain manipulator as well, so if we had a terrain manipulator we could shoot a hole in the ground where it's going to be a bit warmer and keep our protection levels up decent, decently high. But uh, that's something we're going to have to work on I think in the other videos that I do for you guys. Just going to gather a load of this um, dihydrogen, because dihydrogen is used quite a lot in uh, No Man's Sky for certain uh, element building. Oh my god. Look at that, it's going down to minus 100. Jesus Christ. Right, we're going to have to find shelter ASAP, I think. Uh, I had to get that dihydrogen stuff because, like I say, that's useful for building other stuff as well. And that's another element that's always best to have too much than too little of because dihydrogen is used uh, a fair bit in the game. So let's uh, try and get over to um, this um, place where we need to get the Hematic Seal ASAP. As you can see I've only just refilled up my hazard protection and already it's falling down quite quickly. So we need to find shelter ASAP. Uh, I might actually stay inside the shelter until the, the storm dies off and then um, go back towards the ship. We're just going to try and get there as quick as we can. I don't think we're too far away now. Um, it might just be over this hill, I think, by the looks of it. So let's try and get there as quickly as we can. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to try and get shelter in here ASAP because the hazard's already nearly down to uh, halfway again. So we're going to hang around inside here once we've got what we needed. Uh, just to wait until the storm dies off. You guys can read that. I won't bother reading it, I'll let you guys read along to it. Alright. Fires are damaged. Can't find ship. Recover supplies. I have the hematic seal. 
Right, we've finally got it. Uh, I'm just going to hang around in here for a little bit longer just to make sure that the storm dies off and then we'll head back to our ship and then go out into space and then I'll end the video there. So just going to hang around in here. I know this is a bit boring. I won't be in here for long guys so don't worry. Um, just go to first person. Yeah, it looks like it's died off now. Right, let's go back to the ship. Also, I'd be interested to know, guys, um, if you could also share some screenshots of weird animals you've discovered on your planets. Um, I'll retreat. Sorry, I can't pronounce my R's and W's properly. Uh, I'll retreat. Tweet. Ugh. Uh, your tweets and uh, for other people to see basically it'd be interesting to see what kind of animals you discovered like in the beginning of this video we saw that weird looking uh, crab animal with like a rock for a head um, I've never seen that in all the updates uh, previously before beyond uh, so I don't know if this is a new thing they've added like more variety to the animals but that was definitely interesting to see that um, also, I'd like to try and find one of those giant shark creatures that you see on other videos or pictures. You know, the one with the like light hanging down over its eyes, like uh, the fish you see in our real life. Basically, it has like um, this light hanging down. If I can find a picture, uh, there was a similar animal in um, finding. Is it Finding Dory or Finding Nemo? But they were getting chased by this uh, really big fish creature which has a light hanging down from its face. Uh, I've seen animals similar to that in No Man's Sky. So if I can find that picture, I'll put that picture up on the screen now for you. Uh, just so you guys can sort of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, but there are fishes like that apparently. Uh, in No Man's Sky but they're really massive and they come after you as well but what I've been told as well is they're usually buried underground and the light from that hangs down over their face uh, it looks kind of like a plant sticking out of the ground so if you were to shoot that thinking that you get some resources from it it actually gets the animal to come out of the ground and start coming after you apparently which is quite a scary experience um, I've had a similar experience to that on one of my older saves uh, but it was a completely smaller looking um, fish or shark however you want to call it uh, to this one that I'm going on about so I definitely feel as though Hello Games have added more variety to the animals in the Beyond update also like I said, I think I said earlier in the, game, in the um, video that uh, once we have the ability to unlock a certain machine to uh, it's, it's like a refiner basically but you're making all the food for these animals to feed them and tame them I can't remember the name of it now uh, but that's something I want to try and unlock and achieve uh, getting that to make all these different food elements for animals and then taming animals milking animals uh, just basically farming animals and stuff someone said as well apparently uh, in the beyond update animals can reproduce uh, so you could actually effectively have a farm of animals that you've tamed that can reproduce and keep re reproducing eggs for you. Uh, also, um, things like after you fed these animals and then they poop, you can use the poop to make other food source elements um, uh, in the game for other animals to eat and stuff. So I just want to get a refiner here because I need pure ferrite uh, which is used to upgrade, not upgrade sorry, um, repair the ship. Um, so let's get the ferrite dust. There you go, pure ferrite. So I'll just let that do its thing for a bit. Um, that's also another thing for those of you who aren't familiar with No Man's Sky and never played it before. Um, things like ferrite dust, if, if it's telling you you need pure ferrite you need ferrite dust to put into a, this refiner 
and then it will get changed into pure ferrite as you can see here so there's a lot of thinking involved in the game as well in terms of surviving and all that sort of stuff it's a good game I know it came off to a bit of a rocky start but uh, yeah it's definitely improved with the previous updates right so let's go into space and uh, we'll end the video there um, actually there's one other thing I think I might need to do is get more oxygen for my uh, life support I might go out of the ship quickly and get some more um, oxygen so I might uh, have to go and grab some more of that quickly yeah I need uh, 60 in total oxygen for this uh, life support so let's quickly do that and then we'll end the video um, so let's use the scanner ah that's ideal there's one nearby let's go and grab that and then hopefully that should be what we need to get the uh, life support um, upgrade and then we'll definitely end the video we'll go into the ship fly into space and uh, call it a day on this video so yeah got enough let's get that I might move it into the um, one of the other compartments just to be more organized so let's put it into the technology part because I like to keep general for like once you've mined certain elements like for example oxygen I like to keep it in the general and then when I get things like that I like to move it over to the uh, technology just to sort of be more organized basically so let's hop into the ship uh, we'll fly out into space and then we should call it a day there uh, also like I say don't forget to subscribe turn on notifications 